Hey guys, Cheese here, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today, and we're back here on our Beginner's Guide, the Island playthrough. And on last episode, we got this guy right here, our super amazing Chargy. This guy's gonna be great. He's gonna allow us, allow us to fly very far distances, pick up things with our talons, and uh, carry lots and lots of weight. So on uh, today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make um, a little taming trap that I've designed so that when we carry wild dinos back to our base, we have a place to drop them off and tame them. So we're gonna make a taming trap. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And then we still need either a Megaloceros or a moose and, or an Anki for gathering. So we're gonna try to find one of those. So if you guys like this episode, please do me a huge favor in. Flex on that like button here. Yeah. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. So here's the idea. We're gonna go get a wild dino, bring them back to our base, drop them in the taming pen we're gonna make over here, and then tame them up. It's gonna be a super handy thing for us to do. A uh, little thing I wanna say, build it a little bit away from your base. Because once you get to the point where you maybe you're bringing a wolf back to your base or a saber, if you miss the taming pen when you drop it, you don't want it to go attack all your dinos. You don't want to make it super close. So make it a little bit away from your base. Uh, I've made up the parts we're going to need right here. We're going to need uh, 25 foundations, 48 door frames. We're, we're using S+, plus, but if you don't have S+, plus, you can just use regular. Um, eight stone walls and 12 reinforced doors. Now, my taming trap that I make is a little bit uh, over-engineered compared to most people's and I'll explain why as we go along but it's a little bit uh, bigger than most and uh, yeah let's get into it so we're going to take our foundations first and we're going to lay them out in a five by five uh, this is I just left this one because I've already kind of uh, um, set up a template of where I want the uh, the taming trap to go so we're just going to make a five by five here so three four five and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Nope, that one went in the ground. We don't want that. New, new, new. Four, five. And then two, three, four, five. And then we're just gonna fill it in. Super easy, no big deal. We can all make a little five by five box. There we go. Okay, sometimes they wanna snap inside the ground. We don't want them in the ground. There we go, five by five box, super easy. Next step is to grab the door frames. We're gonna grab our door frames here. And I'm gonna make a three by three box on the inside with the door frames. So we're gonna get this lined up here. Basically, you just wanna leave one foundation walkway all the way around the outside. So we're just gonna lay this out now. And super easy, not too bad. We're gonna make this inside three high. That'll keep anything that you can carry over to your taming trap inside. Oh, that one's backwards. Not that it really matters, but we're gonna, this is gonna be a permanent trap. We're gonna leave this up. It's next to our base. So we're gonna try to make it nice, you know, make it nice, make it usable. So we're gonna make everything go the same direction. And then we just wanna snap these three high. So two, three, two, three, two, three. Super easy, bam, bam. Now you might notice that there is no gate. Um, we're not gonna bother putting a gate on it because we have cryopods. Uh, so we could always cryopod any dino out of here that we needed to, or we could always just pick it back up with the RG and move it out of there. So it really doesn't need a gate. So we're just gonna go without gates. And then I'm gonna put doors on the middle three sections there on each side, again. So boom, door, door, door and door 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 super easy okay like that now we're gonna grab our walls and just fill out the corner parts we're gonna put walls on the corners like there and so and uh-huh now one thing i do want to say if you're playing on official pve you actually won't be able to pick up the wild dinos and bring them back and tame them. You can't pick up wild dinos at all. And I believe they do that so that no one control you 
and pick up, say, a wild dire wolf and drop it inside your base and just to cause trouble. So if you're on official PvE, you won't actually be able to use this taming method. But if you're on PvP or on a private server like the servers I run or your own server, this will work. And then we're going to put door frames in just the outer doors. So not we're not going to bother putting them on the inside doors, just the outer doors. And I'll explain why we're doing this here in a second. So let me get these door frames in. Okay, so now we have, this is the trap. It's completely done. That's it. I mean, what did that take us? Two minutes to make? Not a big deal. Now, the reason I build this outer platform, a lot of people would just build this inner part. But when you go to knock out a dino quite often, it'll like fall down like through the wall with its head on the outside, say like out here. And if you don't have this outer layer, sometimes your tames can get messed up. So like a copy or a dillo will run up and will start biting on your the potential tame and ruin your tame. So I go the extra mile and just put this little outer layer and that basically just stops that from happening. So that's why it doesn't take too much extra materials. I'd rather just make it like this so that I don't have to worry about a dillo coming along and biting my tame in the face. But that's it. That's it. We're, we're completely done now. Um, I'm going to go grab, we're going to pick up this. This doesn't need to stay out here. I was just using that for storage. I'm going to take the RG now, uh, and something about RGs. I like to level lots and lots of stamina because basically the more stamina, stamina you have, the further you'll be able to fly. I don't plan on using this guy as a fighter. I don't need lots of melee. I don't need lots of health. I just need him to be able to fly a long ways and carry a decent amount of weight. Um, so I would suggest leveling quite a quite a decent amount of stamina. I like to go to like three, four, maybe even five thousand stamina on my RGs. I don't like to have to be able to stop. I like to be able to fly across the whole island, fly all the way to where I need to go um, without stopping. That's a lot safer. As you can see, like right there's a, here's a bunch of raptors. If I had to land here, there'd be raptors. There's always dangerous dinos on the ground. So lots and lots of stamina on your RGs will make your life way way easier um i'm gonna fly around i'm gonna i'm looking for either a moose that's gonna help us gather lots and lots of thatch or an anki that would help us gather metal either one we need both so i'm basically just gonna look around for whichever of those i find first and when i find something cool to tame up we'll be right back and we're back i haven't found a moose or an anki yet but i did find one of the most beautiful Spino I've ever seen. He's only a level 12, but man, that right and white, right and wed? No, red and white of the Christmas colors really looks cool on that Spino. He's also only a level 12. And there's a uh, T-Rex over there that just ate a gotcha claws. So that's horrible. Run, gotcha claws, run. Free yourself. Um. Oh, there's a tech raptor right here. Look at the Christmassy tech raptor. 79, interesting. Yeah, so we're still looking around. I haven't found one yet, but I wanted you guys to see how absolutely beautiful that Spino was. Super low level. We're not ready to try to tame those yet anyway. But the hunt continues for either a moose or an Anki, and we'll be right back. And we're back, and we're over here in the Redwoods, which is quite dangerous, so be very, very careful if you come here. Right about there on the map. And I have finally found us a, a tameable moose. Let's see if I can show you guys where he is. Where'd he go? There he is right there. A 174. Now, when you're going for a moose uh, for gathering, you want to make sure you get the male moose. The male moose has the horns and they have an attack. Uh, the female moose does not have an attack. They actually have a speed boost. Oh, we want to grab this guy. Ooh. As you can see there, there's a female moose getting eaten by an aloe right there. Can we fly glass? Hello? Oh, he got eaten. Ooh, let's grab this guy quick before he gets eaten. We just swoop in right, right trigger. I mean, right click, right trigger. I'm not on console. Right click and we can just pick him up. Uh, they're not aggressive, so he's not going to hit me or anything. And I'm just going to carry him home. Uh, we got a little bit to fly to get back to where we live, like that way. And uh, that's about it. So as I was saying, yeah, make sure you get the male because the male is able to attack and harvest um, lots and lots of thatch for you. So... This is one of the few di uh, harvest dinos we need so that we don't have to harvest anything by hand anymore. We're going to need an Anki soon, and then that's pretty much it. 
But yeah, we're going to fly this guy back to base and we'll show you how the taming trap works. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back to base now. We're flying up to our taming pen. Now, this is, you just want to fly right over the top. Now, something about arc, uh, I want to tell you guys on flyers, if you push X, it's basically like an air brake. Just stop. So if I'm flying along and I just stop flying, I don't push X, I kind of keep going. But if you're flying along and you push X, it's like, er, just air brakes. So you can just fly up over the top of it and er, air brake. We're looking good. Push right click again. Boom, drop them right inside. Super duper easy. Now we're going to pull out our rifle. We don't have to worry. This guy's not going to be dangerous to us at all. And we can just knock him out. He's just going to run. He's not going to try to attack us. So we could even stand in here with him for this guy. It doesn't matter. This The pen in this case is basically just keep him from running away. Make it nice and easy for us to knock him out. So we don't have to chase him all over. We don't have to worry about trying to ball at him or him getting eaten by anything else. Now we've pretty much guaranteed a successful tame by bringing him back here to the base. It makes it nice and nice and easy. Uh, some people, including myself, like to kind of tame in the wild. Uh, once you're more experienced in arc, I think it kind of makes it a bit more challenging and a bit more fun. But when you're learning in the beginning, uh, like this uh, guide is designed to help uh, beginner players, this is definitely the easiest, safest, and almost 100% guaranteed way to get a nice, easy tame on a moose. And that's going to allow us to, there we go, knocked him out. Super easy. We're going to go grab some veggies from the base. And I'll bring you guys back when he tames up. Okay, we're back. I actually realized we have some simple kibble made up. So we're going to use this simple kibble we have. And we're going to make a saddle for him while we're in the base. We're going to look up Megaloceros. Now, remember, they're called Megaloceros, not Moose in the game. So when you go to look for the saddle, you want the Megaloceros saddle. We're going to learn that. It's made in the smithy. We're going to go to our smithy right over here under saddles. Find the moose saddle. We're going to craft one up. Boom, let's go. Now we have our moose saddle. We're going to go throw our kibble. Oh, make sure we shut the doors. Be responsible and shut the doors, cheese. We don't want stuff coming in and killing our dinos or messing up our base. We're going to throw our kibble on this guy, and I'm going to throw some veggies just in case. So I'm just here hanging out, waiting for this guy to team up. As you can see, he took one bite already. He's already at 34%. But this is exactly what I was talking about. I wanted to show you guys. See how he's... I knocked him out in the taming pen, but his body falls outside and his head's sticking out. So if we hadn't built this outer uh, wall, um, so other dinos could walk up and bite him in the face. But as you can see, since we have the outer wall, you can't see him at all. He's completely safe from any of the little dinos like Dillos or Compies or bugs or anything that might come along and mess up our tame so that's why i do it this way it takes a little bit of extra work but in the end i think it's worth it so i just wanted to show you guys but see see when they oh he's sleeping look at how sweet he looks so sweet when he's sleeping but yeah so that's why i do it so that their head even though it falls outside the taming pen still safe inside the walls we'll be right back and it's up it's up it's up our brandy new fancy choose the choose is up let's go and we're gonna take our saddle put it on the choose now you're like wait a minute but the choose is stuck inside the taming pen you're correct but all we have to do is grab our rg and we'll just pick them back out hopefully we just swoop in there fly up and well we dropped him a little bit on the edge that's okay we'll just pick him up again and there we go and then we have our super amazing choose so let's uh take a little test drive on him try him out show you guys what he's what it, what all the fuss is about when it comes to chooses so this guy is super great for harvesting all of the thatch so when you go and attack a tree with this guy he's gonna get lots of thatch and just a little bit of wood the opposite of what say a beaver or a mammoth would do so as you can see just boom but we just get a little bit of wood and all the thatch so you run around and they're in i don't know what has it been 30 seconds 30 seconds we already have 768 thatch 88 wood i do have boosted rates on the server 
um i as a content creator i don't have time to play on official rates and still get videos out at a um reasonable speed get videos out daily or almost daily but yeah so we're gonna be able to gather up all our necessary thatch needs now which is really really super great and you guys learned how to make uh pretty much the ultimate taming pen in my opinion at least for uh, a permanent one at your base uh one that you can use an rg to drop things into and potentially later on a quetzal for other things but that's about all the time we have for today guys let's move hold on move over here choose stand so we can oh it's starting to rain beautiful so if you guys like this video on how to make the ultimate taming pen and how to get your own choose and how to get all of the thatch please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button here yeah. and for more daily video game awesomeness don't forget to subscribe if you guys are looking for your own arc server like the one i use make sure and check out my nitrato link down below they have really great servers and really great prices and excellent customer service i definitely recommend them to anybody that's looking for their own server and if you guys haven't already done so you should come see me live on twitch i see i stream live on twitch every single day lots of arc and fortnite and uh, today i think i'm gonna be playing destiny 2 i've been playing on my builder server uh, trying to make uh, a cool like castle build i'm also trying to collect all the chibis but i'd love to hang out with you guys and chat uh, you should come see me at twitch.tv slash royale with cheese tv but before we go we got to go say goodbye to murder yo murder what's up hey murder what's going on man hey murder hey what's going on man uh not too much i showed everybody how to make the ultimate taming trap today and we went and tamed a moose so we could get all the thatch what's going on with you mm, not too much hey what do you call someone that has sex for spaghetti um i have no idea what a prostitute get it pasta <laughs> A prostitute! <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> <sighs> That's all the time we have for today. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese and murder and the juice. <laughs>